All right. Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade elevens. It's Mister Shachar again, and welcome to back to basics. Now, uh, let's look at this particular question and see in terms of what can we do within our Venn diagram, right? Now, so basically here we are going to be uh, uh, doing our Venn diagram. Look, they say there are two hundred and forty boys in grade eleven. The following information on a participation in school sport was collected. You are having 122,122 boys play rugby, 58 uh, boys which play hockey, 96 boys which play cricket, right? And 16 which, uh, you know, take part in all the three types of sports, whereas you're having 22, which they do rugby and hockey, 26, which do cricket and hockey, and you are also having 26 which do not participate in any of these sports. Now, they are saying, firstly, you need to let the number of learners that play rugby and cricket to be equal to X. Now, let's see in terms of what is it that we are going to do then. Now, let's start here. The first question here require us to do what? Uh, now, it require us to firstly complete uh, what to complete the Venn diagram. Isn't it so? So we are going to start here. For us to draw our Venn diagram, so let's try. So we are obviously, we are going to draw this particular shape of ours, right? We are going to draw this shape of ours. And when we draw this particular shape, and this is what basically is going to happen. You close here, right? Uh, you close here, then this is going to be uh, representing the first... Uh, event right what wait wait let me just fix this very fast okay now uh now let's see so we are having those which are having what which are having an intersection within all the three spots right so we are having when the i think it was uh the 16 which take part in all the three spots which means now this particular event here uh this one this one and this one basically oh these cycles of ours hmm, what a shame but let's continue then either way uh now so here what is it that we are then going to do now from here uh we are going to say how many of these uh, particular learners remember this is what we are having uh what we are having rugby we are having hockey and we are having cricket. Oh, but these circles. Mm. Let's continue though. Look, you are having 16. Now they are saying the 16 are taking part in all the three types of sports, right? All the three types of sports. And what else do you know? Then you always start from your intersection. Isn't it that we've always discussed that you start from your intersection? So which means you're going to have 16 from your intersection. And then from there, you are going to now continue swiftly along. Now, they say you are having 22 boys who do what? Rugby and hockey, right? Which means for rugby and hockey, you are having what? You are having uh, uh, 22. But now, the 22 also include the 16, right? So, which means you are going to always subtract the intersection, which is the 16. And which means here, you are only having 6 who are taking rugby and hockey because look six plus uh 16 is going to give you what is going to give you 22 again right so that's the reason we are writing the six there now uh then let's continue then now after that we are saying uh we are given that for cricket and hockey for cricket and hockey this is going to be your cricket and your hockey you are having how many of them you are having 26 right so you are having 26 of them who are taking both of those particular sports, cricket and hockey. But from this 26, you're going to say 26 subtract the 16, the intersection, which means you'll end up with what? With 10, which are taking part in both of those, right? And now let's look at this one. Now, what is it that you are given? You are given that now uh, those who are what? Who play rugby and cricket. Rugby and cricket are what? Are uh, X, right? They are represented by X, which means it is an unknown value, right? We are not sure in terms of how many are those, right? Now, let's see. Let's try and continue from there. Now, let's start with the rugby now. 
we are going to do the totality of rugby. Now, isn't it that from the rugby, uh, it must be all of these. Let me try and, you know, rugby is almost all of this, right? So, which means now for you, if you uh, you want to check in terms of what, how many learners are therefore going to be doing rugby, you are going to say this is going to be 122, subtract these six learners, uh, subtract the 16 learners, and subtract... The X, isn't it that the X will was also going to be uh, uh, subtracted? So subtract the X also, right? So this means it's going to have one, uh, 122, subtract the 6, subtract the 16. And then this, which means this is going to be 100. 100 subtract what? Subtract X. Because remember, you are still having an unknown value of your X, right? And now, let's go now to our whole key, therefore. Now, for the value of our hockey, the hockey you are having the 6 plus the 16 plus the 10, right? So, which means if you say 6, if you say 6 plus the 16 plus the 10, this will give you a 32. But now, they said those who are taking part in hockey, they are what? They are 58. So, which means this is going to be 58 subtract 32. And 58, uh, now 58 subtract 32 is going to give you 26. This is going to be a 26. So which means now here you are going to have 26 learners who are taking a uh, hockey only, right? Now let's go to cricket. Cricket, similarly, you are going to come back here. There are 96 who are taking cricket. So it's going to be 90, 96, subtract the 16 from the intersection, subtract the 10 and subtract the X, right? So which means you are going to say 96, subtract the what? Subtract the 16, subtract the 10, right? And what is it that you're going to get? Basically, you are going to have 70 of the learners who are taking cricket only. They are going to be 70. But now, because you also have the X here that you didn't subtract, so it's going to be 70, subtract your X. Does this make sense, right? Yes. So then this is going to be 70, subtract X. And therefore, now this is going to be you representing that particular Venn diagram, right? So this is going to be the representation of our uh, Venn diagram. Uh, now, let's see. So basically now to find out firstly in terms of now they want us to calculate the value of X. And before that, you know what I want us to do? I want us to say now uh, if we can, all right, if we can add these three, isn't it that uh, this is twofold, right? So look, if you can say now one, uh, if you can say now uh, from here, 122 plus uh, 58 uh, plus 96, plus 96, what is it that you're going to get? 120, this is 122 plus 58 uh, plus 96, what is it that you're going to get? So you're getting 276, uh, uh, right? Which means now from here, which means you are going to say now from this particular uh, from this particular value, what is it that you're going to get? You are going to say now from here, uh, 240, 240, uh, then you are going to say basically this 246, uh, 276, subtract the 240. And then the answer that you are getting here is what? It is 36, which means you are given, right? Oh, yes, this is the 26 that I'm looking for. Now, you're having 26 learners who do not participate. Please don't mind that then. I was just looking for those who do not participate. And I forgot that you are given there. But yes, you can see here, you can see here, you can see here, right? Then the 26 is going to be outside because those are the particular learners who did not participate. After that, now let's look at this. They will say you want to calculate the value of your X. Look, this is very easy. To calculate the X, you are going to add everything. Isn't it that you are expecting that the totality of the learners must give you 240, right? So this is going to what? You are going to say 100 subtract X plus 6 plus 16 plus X. This is for the rugby. And then it's going to be plus 26 plus 10. Uh, plus what? Uh, plus 70 subtract X is equals to your 26. Or rather, plus 26. Look at me. Uh, plus 26. Hey, you, what do you want here? Uh, it's go This is going to be what? Plus 26 is equals to 200 and 
uh, this. So this was 70, subtract x plus 26 is equals to what? 240. Yes, this is what I wanted to do. And now from here, then you are calculating for x. Look, don't stress yourself here. Just take this 300 plus 6 plus 16 plus 26 plus 10 plus 70 plus 26 right and see what is it that you're going to get you say 100 uh plus what this is 100 plus 6 plus uh 16 plus 26 uh plus what plus 10 and plus 70 uh plus 26 again what you are getting so the uh the value that you are getting here it's 200 uh, right 254 so this is going to be 254 and then look at the x look this is negative x and this is positive x so basically these two are going to cancel and which means you're, which means you're going to be left with this negative x so this is negative x is equals to 240 240 right so which means then what is it that you're going to do you can simply just take uh, this x, this other side, and this 240, this side, right? So when you do so, look, when you take this negative x, this side, and when you take this 240, this side, it's going to what? x is going to be 254, subtract your 240. And which means the value of your x is going to be what? Uh, when you say subtract your 240, the value that you're going to get is 14, right? So which means basically your value of your x here, the x here, it is 14. The value of the x that you are looking for, it is going to be what? It is going to be 14. And then now let's look at number three. Number three, they say now calculate the probability that the learners choose an uh, uh, involuntary is what will play only hockey. Only hockey is going to be the 26. Remember we said only hockey is the one uh, where you are not uh, taking all these intersection also, right? So the probability of hockey, uh, it's going to what, 26 out of what, over 240. And now let's look at now the last, uh, the other question. Now they say now it does not play cricket. So the probability of those who do not play cricket. Now, which one do not play cricket? Now, look, whether or not they didn't say do not play, uh, does not play cricket uh, only right which means we are going to say uh, you are going to check in terms of how many uh were playing uh cricket with let's say now if the the ones who are playing cricket they are 96 you see that they are 96 so you are going to say 240 subtract 96 or the best thing that you can simply do you are going to say those who are not playing cricket is going to be the 100 subtract the x which was the 16 here so which means this is 100 subtract 16, which means it's going to be this value that you're going to find here, this value that you're going to find here, this value that you're going to find here, and this value that you're going to find here, right? Because those are, this is, that is basically the value that of those learners who are not going to take part in what, uh, who are not going to take part in cricket, right? Or simple, the same way that I said, you just say 240, subtract those who are playing cricket, then we'll give you those who are not playing cricket, right? Yes. This is going to be 96. So when you say now 240, uh, subtract 96, they are going to what? They are going to be 140. They are going to be 140, uh, rather 144, right? So which means the probability, therefore, the probability of uh, hockey knot, hockey knot is going to be 144 divided by 240. Right, so basically that's going to be the probability. Then you are done, completely done, right? So basically this is how you go about when you do a uh, event diagram of three events. Hopefully this makes sense to you. Thank you very much.